Hi, this is the like to share how to obtain the Marilyn series of square of 1 plus sin x. I'm going to let fx be equal to 1 plus sin x to the power of half. Since we know that power half is equivalent to square root. So at point x is equal to 0, sin 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 we have 1, 1 power half is 1. Then we differentiate as usual. When we differentiate, bring down the power. So 1 over 2, 1 plus sine x to the power of half minus 1, which is negative half. Don't forget to differentiate the inner function. When we differentiate 1, we obtain 0. Differentiate sine is cos. So 0 plus cos, we obtain cos. So we have at the point 0, which is half times 1 times 1, which is half and let's say we are okay we are fine with differentiation with product rule using complicated function then we just proceed with product rule and let's say we don't like then we just simplify the function so i will first rewrite the function as its reciprocal form so we have one over one plus sine x square root of one plus sine x then in order for us to remove the square root, I will times the conjugate 1 minus sine x. Of course, we cannot simply time something to the denominator, but we have to times exactly the same thing to the numerator, 1 minus sine x as well. Don't forget, we still have cos x. So what we have to do here, recall that by using the law of indices, if we have square root a times square root b is equivalent to have square root a times b. So for this case, it's equivalent to have square root 1 minus sine square x, which is equivalent to square root of cos square x. And we know that square root and square can cancel each other, and we left only cos. In other words, the denominator part is equivalent to cos x. So cos x cancel with cos x and this function left only 1 over 2. This one eliminated. So we left only 1 minus sine x to the power of half. Then we just have to differentiate this function, which is relatively simpler as compared to this function. So when we differentiate, power bring down 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, 1 over 4. So power lost 1 and we now obtain negative half. Remember to differentiate the inner function, so which means that we have negative cos x. So we have, again, if we want to simplify again, then we just apply exactly the same method. We can bring the negative 2 in front, so negative 1 over 4. Then 1 over square root of 1 minus sine x, then we times 1 plus conjugate of minus is plus. Then we have 1 plus sine x. Don't forget we have cos x. So using the same idea, this can be eliminated. So left only negative 1 over 4 times 1 plus sine x to the power of half. So at point 0, we should have negative 1 over 4. Then for the third derivative, negative, positive, negative. 1 over 4 times 1 over 2, 1 over 8. Then we have 1 plus sine x. Our loss 1, so negative 1 over 2. Remember to differentiate the inner function, so we have cos x. So at the point, the row we have negative 8. I'm not going to simplify this function anymore since I already obtained 1, 2, 3, 4 non zero terms. So it's sufficient for us to build the Marilyn series unless the question specify otherwise. So we have 1 plus sine x to the power half is equal to this is the original function. So 1 over none of the derivative involved. So over 0. Then x to the power of 0 plus 1 over 2 over, this is the first derivative, so over 1 factorial. Then x to the power of 1, then we plus second derivative, negative 1 over 4 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2. 
then plus negative 1 over 8 over 3 factorial x to the power 3 and so on. So which means that we have 1 plus 1 over 2 over 1 is 1 over 2 x plus minus minus 1 over 4 divided by 2. So 1 over 8 x to the power of 2. Then plus minus minus 1 over 8 divided by 3 factorial which is 6. So we have 1 over 8 over 6. So it's equivalent to 1 over 48. x to the power of 3 and so on. Then we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.